What is this? Oh, girl, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm definitely not wearing this. No faux leather, nothing. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Okay you guys, so I will be traveling to Jamaica soon and I thought why not show you guys how I pack. You guys have asked me on numerous videos, numerous vacation videos to show how I pack and stuff like that, but I'm not really familiar on doing these type of videos, so I'm just gonna do the best that I can. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you wanna see how I pack, please stay tuned. Okay, first of all, let's just get into this hair, girl. I am so proud of myself. I did this myself. These are some Bohemian faux locks. And yeah, I'm really happy with how they turned out. Now, they're about five days old because... I had to reschedule my flight and yeah, so they're not as fresh as I want them to be. But I do feel like it's one of those styles, like the older it gets, the better. So yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out how I can set this up. First, I'm gonna show you guys how I pack my backpack. Okay, you guys, so I hope that this camera angle is okay. I'm just, I don't know, I'm not used to filming in this way. So anyway, so first I wanna show you guys my backpack. I always carry a backpack instead of a purse when I'm in Jamaica or any kind of beach vacation or something like that. I typically use a fanny pack and a fanny pack can fit inside of a backpack. So before I was using just like a regular, like smuggler backpack girl it was pink it was probably somebody's middle school backpack that i was using and this trip i was like you know what let me try to upgrade and get me a better backpack so i went on amazon looking and i found this one what i like about this one is that i want one that has a good size to it so i can fit my heavier things in here i just want to be able to fit a lot of things in here so this one is pretty big and it has like a smaller compartment and it has a handle so if you want to just carry it like a regular bag you can do that um and then the opening kind of opens up like a, a coin purse would open and then it has uh, of course a zipper to close it up and then a button to button up this area now this thing is huge it goes so deep and i like that because i can just add a ton of stuff in there it has a pocket for your laptop right here and then it has a second pocket which i plan to put my ipad in as well and then it has other little smaller pockets in here as well for right now i don't have everything that i want to put in there but the main things that's going to go in here is my ipad i have to travel with my ipad it's an old I ipad that i've had forever because i just like to watch movies on netflix when i'm waiting during like layovers and stuff and you know just basically for watching movies when i'm bored or i need to wait around for some time um the next thing that i'm going to put in there is my laptop now i just got this laptop um i bought a new desktop but i didn't have a new laptop so i just bought this one because i just need one for travel i need one when i want to edit like in the bed i'm tired of going in the office so i definitely want to pick up a laptop and i have a review coming on this soon um this was a budget laptop that i got off of amazon so this is the Acer laptop. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in that slot. Perfect fitting for a laptop. The next thing I'm bringing is a book. I've had this book for some time and I never ever read it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, maybe I'll read a book on or some of a book during my flight. And this is The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F, okay? So I'm gonna have that in there. Um, of course, my charger. The next thing I have is a portable charger. This one came from my stepdad. He gave this to me and it has a ton of different ports and stuff that 
you can use for of course charging so that always comes in handy because you know you don't want your stuff to die and sometimes the charging ports that they have at the airport is completely full so i like to keep a charging bank with me the next thing i have are just two pairs of just dollar earphones i really need to invest in some good earphones um i normally invest in that type of stuff for my son but i don't really do it for me i just grab like some cheap ones so here's two just in case one of them like conks out because i got both of them from the dollar tree i like to just have that again for my ipad for you know being on the phone and stuff like that next thing is just a small mini tripod um, just in case I decide to vlog while I'm in the airport or anything like that I can kind of you know hold my camera around and talk and also set it up somewhere and talk to the camera as well so just a mini tripod I have an extra little charging cord just in case that was at the Dollar Tree as well and then I got me some gum and then just like a little hair tie just in case my hair irritates me. I just want to put it up or something like that. I want to have that in there. And then um, I have a pair of gloves just in case I'm feeling a little like mm, I need to have some gloves on. I have a pair of gloves with me and later I'm going to go ahead and pack my mask and stuff like that. I also brought like some pins and stuff like that just in case I have to fill out a form, your customs forms and stuff like that. I hate having to ask somebody, oh, you have a pen, you have a pen. And they're like, look, wait, you're going to have to wait till I'm done, you know. So this time I'm like, let me remember to bring me some pens. And that is pretty much it. The rest of this stuff is just like a couple more chargers. Um, I want to keep some extra room in here just in case my luggage is too heavy. I could throw some things inside of here and also I like to throw some food and some snacks in here as well. Okay, I like to have like a full combo whether it's like a subway sandwich. I'm not trying to do that, but I'm just saying like some chicken strips. I want it in here okay ready okay so yes yeah, so that's pretty much what I will have in my backpack and I'm gonna show you guys again I love this backpack and this is what it looks like oh and then another cool thing it has like a charging port right here so inside there is a charger like extension and then you plug your your power bank to that and then you could put your phone inside of this pocket and then charge it on the outside of your bag, which I thought was super cool. That was another thing that sold me on this bag. So this is what I will have. Oh, and I'll also put my fanny pack inside of here. So my fanny pack will probably have like my passport, like all my other little stuff that I need will also be inside this backpack. Okay, you guys. So hopefully I have all this set up okay so that you can see basically i've already picked out like what i anticipate wearing from this point you know anything else i'm just i'm just throwing that in there what i like to do is kind of pick out everything that i think that i want to wear then weigh my luggage and then see if i have room to add more with what i have so far, it looks like I'm at about 40 pounds. So basically, I still have like 10 more pounds of stuff to add. A lot of the clothes that I have are really light. So that's why I think it's so light. So yeah, and I don't have any shoes in this area. I might end up adding it now that I know that I have extra room. So right before I came to film this, I was at, I think, 39 pounds. Something like that, 38 point something pounds. Okay, so what I have here i normally try to break it up in categories i know that i want to have some swimsuits and stuff because of course this is a beach vacation so i want to have some um beach stuff so here is all of like my cover-ups you definitely don't want to forget that and my bathing suits um i'm probably not going to wear all of these bathing suits but i have about five wait one two three four five yeah i have five just in case i need them so let's go ahead and pack these up
okay you guys so i got all my bathing suits pushed to one side and i'm not a super neat packer i do sometimes use like packing cubes and i'll show you that later on in the video so if i was using less bathing suits i would probably um use a packing cube for that um if you guys aren't familiar it's just basically like a little small bag where you could put toiletries in you could put your panties little small pieces of clothing and stuff like that so yes that is what i have i have all of that push to one side the next thing I try to go with is things that I know I definitely want to wear and probably take pictures in so that will be kind of my next column of clothing so definitely like short shorts um, I got this now I've already taken pictures in some of these things but they were just too cute to not take on vacation so I'm gonna bring them just in case because I'm gonna be in a tropical area and I just think that it'll be good for the aesthetic it'll be good for the gram so um, I'm gonna bring those pieces I got some really cute like little um, maxi and mini dresses um, tie-dye I got some Jamaican colors here I got crop tops and more short shorts um, and one thing that I really realized with tropical vacations beach vacations hot summer vacations is that before I used to just be doing too much okay I would be over there sweating and hot just putting on too many clothes and the more that I go to Jamaica the more I realize that it's kind of just like a chill place relax of course you're gonna have your time where you get dressed up clubs stuff like that but you know because of everything that's going on the clubs are not even open so I'm gonna have a lot more of just like cute and casual looks flats crop tops shorts um things that it's just not too much material i remember like a couple of my first trips i had big super long dragging the floor skirts and all this crap and then i was hot girl i was so hot i was miserable i was over there trying to take pictures with all this clothes on it was just so humid so definitely i have learned <laughs> since then to keep it simple cute but simple so yes these are the looks that i'm definitely going to try to take pictures in so i'm going to go ahead and pack those next okay so now i have all of those items packed up and i try to pack it according to the outfit i don't want to have stuff just everywhere so if this top goes with these shorts then i'm going to put it right next to each other of course later on it's probably going to get mixed up and crazy but at least for right now i'm trying to keep it as organized as i can i forgot this one okay so the next things i pack are just basically things that are possible that i might wear i might get there and actually want to wear that instead or um lounge type of stuff where i'm just kind of like walking around the house or walking around the hotel just stuff that's just either i can sleep in either relax in lounge in or a possible outfit so these are basically just possibles in sleepwear like this said it is such a cute like tropical like this meant for vacation but i already took a picture in this and i don't know if i want it to be a repeat offender or not i'm not sure so i'm just gonna pack it just in case because it is so pretty and i feel like it's made for vacation and i wanted to wear it on vacation from the moment that i wore it so um yeah so definitely um I'm going to go ahead and pack this up as a possible. And then I have like little loungy, slinky type of dresses like this that aren't necessarily, they're not like moo moos and they're not super sexy. It's just something to kind of wear around the house or around the hotel when you want to chill and be cute, but not too hot. And 
y'all i am going to be doing some work while i'm out there i have a couple of outfits that i need to take pictures for for fashion nova so um out of those um outfits that i know that i'm gonna take for sure maybe like four or three outfits for fashion nova as well oh this is one of my cover-ups i forgot to put super cute and y'all i have a ton a ton a ton of shorts this time i'm just wearing a bunch of shorts y'all and this dress was from my first Jamaica trip. I love this dress. This was from Shop Lace and Limper, but you know, it's no longer available. I love little dresses like this because you know, when you're bloated and you just been eating a bunch of vacation food and you just want to be relaxed. This is a really cute, like shapely type of top or dress to wear. Um, and it also covers up. So I really, really like it. So the next thing I have are just some scarves. Um, I typically use these for when it's just hot to pat my face. Um, you know, it's heavily used out in Jamaica and I already had some of these. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and just wash the ones that I already have instead of buying some when I get out there and go ahead and pack those up. So yeah, I got my red and my blue. <laughs> and um so yeah so i'm just gonna put that in like a little pocket or whatever inside of here um another thing is just like a scarf i need a scarf to like tie up my hair make sure it is lasting while i'm out there especially with getting in the water and stuff like that so you definitely don't want to forget stuff like this because it is needed okay so that is pretty much all of my clothes um the next thing i packed is like um, a tripod just in case I decide to vlog or talk to you guys about something I always want to have something like this with me um, if I can like if I have enough space if I have enough room to bring it then I definitely would so this is like a little bit smaller than your average tripod and I feel like if I'm just like kind of sitting down talking to you guys about something then this would be perfect or maybe showing you a cooking video or something like that so I'm gonna bring it just in case I vlog because the last few trips I have not vlogged and you guys have been asking for me to vlog so I'm bringing it just in case I decide to vlog okay so now let me go ahead and show you what's in the pockets of my luggage okay you guys so my camera died so i had to let it charge for a little bit and come back but i wanted to just show you guys really quick this portion of my luggage um basically i just have like a few things in here so the first thing i have is just like a hair bag i got um like edge control my edge brush some spritz spray um i plan to try to spritz my baby hair because <laughs> i don't think the edge control is gonna last in the jamaica climate so i got that just in case for some extra security hopefully that helps um i also got a pumice stone um some razors and then i got some press on nails um all of the nail shops are closed um that's in my area so i really wanted to have my nails done but just in case if I want to like have a little nail aesthetic for you know the gram or whatever I might put on some press on nails so that's that got my accessories um, I just got a couple hoop earrings and then major I have a little bit of lotion and this is like a little cheapy type of lotion but it doesn't have much of a scent which is what I want because I get ate up so bad by mosquitoes there and I was over there trying to you know use a whole bunch of bath and body works and all that type of stuff and girl I was getting bit up bad okay so on that note I got me some hydrocortisone cream and some anti-itch cream because I get bit pretty badly when I'm out there even if I use like repellent I just get bit bad so I got some of those to help me with that and then my toothpaste here I have just some charcoal soap that I use I like to use to wash off my makeup and I got some sunnies here just in case I don't want to wear 
some shades while I'm out there. You understand? <laughs> so I got some settings. I never really bring those. So I just got some of those just in case. In my next compartment, I just have a couple of masks. Um, sometimes I like to wear them on the plane, like going there and coming back, just like a relaxation type of thing. So I brought some of those just in case, or just in case I want to uh, put one on while I'm there. I brought some aloe vera gel, which also can help with bites and stuff like that. Floss, makeup remover wipes, some nail glue for my nails, just in case I do them. Some scent bird. Um, my mini perfumes if you guys see my review i think that this is perfect for travel so definitely want to bring some of that to smell good also you know using the bathroom and stuff you can just kind of do a little quick spray and it's not like you got a big aerosol can or whatever the next thing i have is like stuff for a headache i also got some like tums and stuff for like bloating gas relief because as you guys probably know I do the keto diet but I don't plan to eat keto while I'm out there so just anybody that has been on keto before know that when you cheat on keto like your stomach your body feels it and like you instantly bloat up when you have bread rice and stuff like that so I'm hoping that these type of things will help me get rid of some of the bloat so I'm bringing that just in case my stomach is upset or anything like that um some face moisturizer deodorant and a file for my nails so that's pretty much all i have in here i don't know if i'll be adding some more stuff later possibly but i think i got everything covered with that so let's go ahead and get into our carry-on okay you guys now as far as my carry-on my carry-on is kind of a mess i got a couple of things sitting on top of it because i'm not sure everything i want to put in there um what is that okay you guys so as far as my carry on um i don't have too much in here typically what i like to put in here is my shoes because they are pretty much on the heavier side so whatever shoes and heels and stuff that i need to bring that won't weigh down my actual like my regular um checked luggage because there's a weight limit i'll put them in my carry on um, I don't have that many shoes that I'm actually bringing in the first place. Okay, so I just have some regular black flats. I wear these a lot, um, especially on vacation. And then this is the packing cube that I was telling you guys about. This is kind of what it looks like. So what I like to put in here are just like, you know, um, like my panties and stuff like that. Um, so this is pretty much filled with a whole bunch of panties and like kind of little stuff to wear around little cute stuff to wear around So that is taking up the majority of my space in my carry-on Then I also have my makeup and when it comes to makeup I just bring the essentials because most of the time it's just hot no eyeshadows or nothing major or anything like that and then I also have stuff that I need like right when I get off the plane So, you know when you get off the plane you want to freshen up and be you know kind of cute because you've been on a plane or through layovers and stuff like that so I have me some toothbrushes here um, and I believe I think I have a small toothpaste that I'm gonna put in there as well I also got a little perfume this is another um, scent from Scentbird um, and then the outfit that I'm gonna wear off of the plane I normally do kind of like a quick change I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear off of the plane at this point this is just a pair of jeans with a little camo um tee so this is what i kind of have in mind something not too major but it's still actually cute and then i also have my fanny pack so either i'll put this inside of my backpack or i'll put this in the carry-on either way it goes once i get off the plane this is what i'll have um i also wanted to bring like a pair of heels just in case i go somewhere kind of fancy or you know to a dinner or something like that these are from misguided and they're just some cute little slide in um clear heels which i think is perfect because i'm not doing too much the heel is not too high and then i could just slide them on and it's just you know easy put on and go so i'm gonna pack these and then they're clear so they'll go with pretty much anything so i'm gonna put that in there um, another thing I have, which is a first, is this little fan. And I swear this is the best fan in the entire world. 
this thing is like the size of my palm and it is so freaking powerful and like if you've been in jamaica you'd be hot okay and i feel like this would be perfect if i'm sitting around somewhere girl and i will fan myself like a prima donna okay and i feel like this is powerful enough to keep me cool and it's handheld it's uh you can charge it with the usb and it has a base that you can kind of sit it in and if you want to sit it on a desk or a table you can sit it up as well you don't have to hold it and i got this off of amazon as well i'll try to link whatever i got on amazon i'll try to link it for you guys below so i want to have that off the plane as soon as you get off it's hot okay so i want to have that um and then what is this Oh girl, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm definitely not wearing this. No faux leather, nothing. I think this was just already in the bag. So um, another thing, this is my possible what I'm going to wear to the airport outfit. It's just like a cute little orange um, two-piece set. And I got this for my friend's business. It's called uh, Brand E Society. So you guys definitely want to check that out. Um, it's super cute. So I'm trying to see if I'm going to wear that there because, you know, it's going to be kind of cool on the way to where I'm going. So, um, yeah, so I have this laying on top because this is the possible. And then um, I have some hand sanitizer. This is probably going to go inside my backpack. I already have like a big bottle of sanitizer and then I just um, transferred it to this small um, Dollar Tree bottle that's three ounces or two ounces, something like that. So I have that in a clear bag just in case. And y'all, this is a toe up carrying on that I've had forever. I really do need to replace it, but I love it so much. I'm just so used to it. I just, I'm a type of person, I don't have to have the newest of things. Like I'm just, I don't care that much. I don't care that much about technology. I don't care about having the newest this or the newest that. I'm just not that person. So yeah i will run something down you understand and then be like oh i got something new i'm so happy you know but i'm just not that person look at this this guy's holes in it girl i'm just i don't know i don't know if i'm lazy i don't know what i am I'm, girl i just don't do it <laughs> oh you guys i think i just got a delivery it was two other things or three other things that i got from amazon and i think it just came because i got a ring notification hold on a second trent do yeah. babe can you bring me um go look on the porch and see if i got a package if i did go bring it up to me please hurry up fast because the camera's rolling thank you yeah so once i show you guys this that's pretty much it this is probably a long ass video because i don't know how to do a pack with me video correctly so i just walked y'all through every single thing of my life so this is probably a 30 minute video <laughs> oh my gosh you guys I hope you guys enjoy this I really hope you guys enjoy it and it's not too damn long or at least if it is long it's entertaining <laughs> but yeah okay bring it oh shoot I ain't got no scissors bring me the um bring me the what's that called no right there by the door that little yellow thing the box cover what is this okay so a little romper i wonder is this cute i gotta go try this on this might be a possibility mm, it's a little shimmery it looks cute on on amazon girl this is a 19.99 romper girl i was thinking i don't know it looks kind of cute i gotta wait till i put it on but yeah, this is a little romper I ordered. I completely forgot about that. I was worried about the other part. Thank you, honey. Oh, gosh. Stop trying to get in my video. All right. <laughs> okay. This is the part that I was waiting on. Okay, so I got two more fanny packs because I always wear the black one, the one I always I already showed you. So I wanted to try another one. Oh, this is cute. So 
so this one it has an extended waist i think this fits up to 53 inches and or something like that or 47 inches or something like that and this is like a faux like pleather shiny type of black one so i'll probably switch it up between the other one and this one super cute i think i paid like 12 or 13.99 for this one cute and then the next one is a clear one. Ooh, I like fanny pack y'all. <laughs> oh no, but here is the other one. I think this one was even cheaper. I think this was like $10.99. So I'll definitely try to link these below for you guys. But yes, so here are two more fanny packs that I'm going to probably put in my main luggage. And yes, you guys, that concludes my pack with me video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was entertaining in some way or helpful in some way. And until my next video, have a blessed day, have a blessed week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.